What's up guys, I'm BTC. Happy birthday to Goat's Comp, which is now one year old, but does it look like something else is about to take its place? Quick announcement, little bit of a teaser. I got a massive video project coming out tomorrow. There is so much work that went into this. I think you guys are really gonna like it, so you definitely do not want to miss it. One year ago, on May 27th, 2018, a team named GOATS went into the North American Open Division Tournament and won using a strategy that involved no DPS on their roster. Later they would go into the Beat Invitational Season 4 and absolutely destroy most of their competition once more using this team comp that only had 3 tank and 3 DPS. It was later named GOATS Comp and we've had it as the meta ever since. Some people tend to think that GOATS Comp appeared immediately when Brigida was released but that's just not true. Brigida had been released on 20 March 2018, and while people did use the character, she wasn't all that spectacular in a 2-2-2 lineup. She was primarily used to counter enemy tracers, who up until that point had been unbelievably powerful, and now Brigida was a direct counter to that, and that's what she was primarily used for. Then when Goat's Comp came around, they found out that Brigida had a much bigger role that she could play and that she could enable a triple support triple tank. Other comps have been around for longer than Goat's, like Dive for example has had several different versions and it always seems to kind of linger around and come back in different forms. But Goat's Comp has been by far the most dominant comp ever added to the game. This is despite the fact that Blizzard has repeatedly tried to nerf Goat's Comp out of existence. There have been about a dozen nerfs to Brigida herself, several huge nerfs to D.Va, and then other characters in the comp like Zarya, Lucio, Zenyatta, and Ana have also been nerfed, while at the same time Blizzard has been buffing a lot of the counters, like Reaper, Junkrat, McCree, Symmetra, Bastion, and none of it seemed to be working. Goat's Comp just kept sticking around but it looks like it might finally be at least somewhat going away. If you're interested in the Overwatch League, unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the pro players seem to think that GOATS is just going to make a return for Stage 3, but on the competitive ladder, it seems to be a different story. This is a listing of the top 12 characters in Grandmaster on PC over the last couple weeks. Now, the reason why I'm using Grandmaster is because they tend to follow and help mold the meta more than any other rank, so it makes sense to show these. Whereas, someone in bronze, silver, or gold tends to more just kind of play what they like or play what they're good at as opposed to playing what the meta should be kind of deal. So, you'll notice right away that Orisa Roadhog are right at the top where normally it would be either Winston or Reinhardt. Now, they're still in the top 12, but they're at the bottom of the top 12. But right in the middle, there are two characters that are going to really stand out, and that is Widowmaker and Hanzo. Double Sniper with Orisa is coming back. A couple of really important things I want to point out here. First is, yes, we have the return of Double Sniper. Second, Brigida is not in the top 12. She has been one of the most important characters for the last year, enabling the single most dominant comp the game has ever seen, and she's not in the top 12. She's a little bit further down, it's not like she's all the way at the bottom or anything like that, so she's still gonna be around. But, not being in the top 12 is huge. And then there's a third thing. While we can still see parts of what would be GOAT's comp kind of lingering in here, if you look carefully, you can see that there are actually two different comps in here. You have the Orisa Roadhog double sniper kind of situation, and then you also have a dive comp to kind of counter it, which is going to involve the D.Va, the Hammond, and Winston, along with a Genji, and you know maybe a Lucio or Zenyatta or Honor or something like that, right? So it appears that there's two different comps now in this top 12, and the go-to is going to be the Oriso double sniper, but then there's a counter comp that seems to be almost just as viable, which is going to be that dive comp as well, which will counter the double sniper. So this is actually moving into a situation where kind of what you would want to see in a meta, where you do have a single dominant comp, but there's something else that can also be used right alongside of it that is a pretty good counter to it. So while one of them may be the default comp that you kind of want to go to, the other one is pretty darn good too. 
So this is a much better, more healthy situation for the game than just having one comp that is so unbelievably dominant that you really can't run anything else. I mean, when GOAT's comp was really going, people tried to run some other stuff using Orisa and Bastion and Symmetra, and it just, it was more like cheese. It didn't really work. It was kind of okay if you could surprise your enemy, but even the pro players have kind of moved away from using that Orisa Bastion because it's just not quite as effective as everyone was hoping it was. Now, they still use it in the pro tournaments a little bit, but not to the degree that it counters GOAT's comp on a, a bigger level. Now that you've seen the top of the list, let me show you the bottom of the list. And down here you've got Baptiste, Moira, Symmetra, Junkrat, Pharah, Reaper, and Bastion at the very bottom. He is pretty much the least played character across all ranks, across all platforms. I mean, there's a little deviation here and there, but for the most part, Bastion is the bottom of the barrel all the way across the board. And this might seem really weird because you've got Orisa and Roadhog at the top, wouldn't that make sense to have a Bastion behind that? Wouldn't it make sense to have him as part of that bunker comp? But no, he's just not that good. And you're better off running any other DPS. So you can run the double sniper, which is kind of what they're doing now. Or you could run a McCree. And I think once those changes from the PTR go to live, McCree might get a little bit more play because that is going to be kind of ridiculous. He might end up replacing Hanzo with that. But in any event, Bastion... This is the most ideal situation for Bastion right now, Bunker Comp. We're moving into that where you have the Orisa Barrier almost all the time and he's going to get some sort of support from the Mercy where you could have damage boost because Mercy also has that high pick rate. But Bastion just isn't getting used. He's just not being, you're just better off using something else. And it doesn't, like the single most optimal conditions for Bastion to be used exist right now and they're still not using him. And then of course you have poor Reaper who comes in after that. And again, Reaper is just, there's so, so, so many issues with that. And then Farah is really low because hit scan on PC, particularly at the higher levels, is really strong. And when you have a Widowmaker, you're gonna be able to deal with that enemy Farah so well. So Farah is just in a really bad place right now. Junkrat got some changes recently, but again, even though he's a bunker buster, you're just not seeing him be used all that much. Moira doesn't have any utility, so she's one of the, the least used characters, particularly support when when it comes to the higher rank and then Baptiste unfortunately he has some pretty solid healing and he is getting some buffs from the PTR but he just doesn't quite do what he needs to do when it comes to the double sniper kind of build up and also he's a little bit worse in the triple support as well so I mean he he does have his good parts but unfortunately he's just not quite up there enough now, as I mentioned a couple times, there are some changes on the PTR, and that is going to be some more nerfs to D.Va, and some changes, buffs to McCree, and I think once that stuff goes live, you're going to see this listing right here get reinforced even more. So while Goat's Comp is not going to disappear, the other comps might have finally found a little bit of breathing room. Also, don't forget tomorrow, really big video coming out. And guys, make sure you come back because that video is going to be really cool. I think you guys are gonna definitely like it. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.